Good evening from NYHS Kids. My name is Saudin. Now, we were studying Karab Khan. We saw the theory in the Karab Khan, and it is time for us to see the games. Look, I choose five games for you. Now, the best way to learn any opening is to study the games. Forget about theory, right? The games are the real stuff. So, let's see what happens in this game. This game was played by Max Ewe. Ewe was a world champion in chess and uh, an amazing chess player, right? So, he also wrote uh, uh, three wonderful books. Um, and, uh, I mean, he probably wrote more books, but there are three books like uh, Part 1, 2, and 3, uh, red cover books. I forgot the name of those books, but I have them, I think, in the office. Oh, wow, that's like really an amazing, you know. If I find them, I'm, I'm going to actually bring them to the to the schools, you know, and show you. Um, now, look, this game, short game, 19 moves, but we're going to learn about attack and counterattack. So let's see. Pawn to e4, c6, d5. Try to remember the moves because the next is going to be guess the move. So it's going to be the same game, but you will have to guess the moves on your own. So we take on e4. We must take on e4, right? And now bishop to f5. Look, this was one of the the, the games, you know, that was played in uh, probably in 40s, 50s. So people were learning about Karakhan defense and uh, not the best move was played here with the whites. Queen f3. Now, what is this queen doing on f3? Protecting the knight, attacking the bishop on f5, right? And black plays e6, right? Of course, you don't want to take bishop e4 and queen takes on e4, then, then this knight can be moved to f3. Look, this queen is disturbing the white pieces. Knight cannot go to f3, right? So we don't want to help the the white pieces, right? Queen f3. Now, bishop goes to e3. And look at this move right now. Queen to a5, check. Now, the idea of this move is to make a white king uh, uh, and, and the queen side weaker. So basically, if you play uh, pawn to c3, that would make the king weaker. So if the king really wants to go into the castling, then the c3 move would, would make a lot of uh, like empty space uh, around the king and, you know, it could be troubles there. So the white, uh, white decided to play bishop d2. So, but anyway, for the, from the black side, you see, you wanna you wanna understand this move because because white could black could play queen d5 immediately, but he did not play that move immediately. Right, he first played queen a5, and uh, bishop d2, and now queen d5. So there's a there's a double attack here. Uh, knight on e4 is attacked in the pawn on d4 is attacked, right? So then again, I if I go back here, when I see this queen d5 move, I'd rather play c3 here. Or, um, yeah, c3, I'd rather play that move than, than, uh, than bishop d2. But um, I think uh, white thought that maybe capturing on d4 will be risky for black. Now, queen takes. Is it risky? Taking the pawn for free. White gets uh, development, right? Um, let's see what's going to happen. Castling and 97. Now, of course, black wants to play 95 and remove this bishop from d3. So 92, queen is attacked. Now the question is what to do here. Now this is like very important uh, 
moment in the game. And I think we need to learn uh, to to play the moves that Max have played right now. Look, of course you could you could move the queen to a4, right? You capture the you capture the pawn and now you are running away attacking on a2. But look at the move that Max have plays here. It's kind of um, releasing the pressure, right? And and by playing this move, bishop to e4, he's um, trading the pieces. He's pawn up, and by trading the pieces, he's kind of uh, uh, releasing that pressure on his uh, on his uh, position. Bishop takes, and now he plays queen c4. He's attacking the pawn on a2. And from here, the game really, really starts, right? Bishop c3, allowing black to capture on a2. Black plays first, knight f6. So with this move, look, he's, he's protecting uh, himself. He's protecting the knight in d7 because sometimes, look, uh, even rook d7 could be played and queen f7 check, so it could be dangerous. So this move, and at the same time, he's attacking the bishop on e4, right? Now, white plays rook d4. And the question is, can black take this pawn on a2? Right, black is already pawn up, and if he takes on a2, he's clearly taking a lot of risk, right? But what we're going to learn from this game is um, a beautiful defense, right? The counterattacks, right? Look, he takes on a2. He's threatening to play queen a1, and, and the rook on h1 is, is hanging out there. But white goes into the attack. He sacrifices bishop c6, and queen c6, it looks very dangerous, right? Look, there is an attack on the rook on a8. The rook on d4 is attacking on d7. This rook can come and attack on d1, right? So the question is, how should black defend this position? Playing rook d8 would be very passive. That means you really accept that the attack is coming, right? Rook d8 is a kind of move that really leads into passive defense. Are you going to survive here? Not sure, right? But look at the move that Max Aver plays. Defensive move, he plays defense, but the kind of defense that, that uh, you know, in a, in karate, they say the, the best defense is the, to attack, <laughs> right? So, so he plays a move, a rook to b8. So he's now doing a counterattack, right? With this rook on b8. Let's see if he's going to succeed. Rook d1. White wants to take rook d7, knight d7, queen d7, checkmate. What can black do here? Right? Protecting the knight, now it's impossible. Right? Playing a move like knight e5, that's also after rook takes d5 and pawn takes and the rook takes, again, troubles, right? You, uh, you are in trouble here. So, the black plays a counterattack. Cool move. Bishop to a3. What a great move, right? Because look, now, if you take on d7, um, there is a move, bishop b2 check, right? And if you take bishop b2, queen b2, king goes to d2, then you can take knight d7 because the rook is blocked, <laughs> right? So this is a counterattack. What a great move, right? He wants to take on it. Now, what happens if um, 
Now we have to see, you know, of course, in the game, this is what happened, rook a4, and we'll analyze that. But we also have to see what happens if the pawn takes on a3, because we, of course, have to analyze this, right? Castling, run away. So now suddenly both sides have the same material, but the black run away into the castling position, and uh, now it's a white king that is in trouble. So rook takes on d7, check, and when king goes to d2, now you can take on d7 because you have this move and uh, the queen is trapped. So that's the defense that that Mr. Ava So when he played bishop a3. So let's go back. So now bishop a3 again, see that move one more time. And uh, rook a4. That's what played in game. And after bishop b2, check. Bishop captured, queen b2, king had to go here, and after castling, black won the game because white resigned. There is no move, uh, I mean, uh, black is a piece up, and uh, white king now in trouble. Suddenly, you know, from all that attack, white king in the center of the board attacked, right? <laughs> so white resigned again. Let's see what are the most important moves. Um, should we go all the way from the beginning so you remember the moves? Because you will have to do guess the move. I'm going to show you the game one more time. Okay, this move you have to remember. And here, important bishop e4. Sacrifice on c6. I think the most important the most important two moves in this game is this move, rook b8. That's really important. See, this is a kind of defense that you have to learn. If nothing, learn this from, from this game. And, um, and then this move, counterattack. So again, you can choose different kind of defense. It can be a passive defense or it can be a counterattack. And this is a counterattack. So you are defending yourself by attacking your opponent. And uh, you see here, the white king ended up in a, in a bad position. Castle, and that's it, right? Okay, that's the game. Now, how about you test yourself? Look, I, look how this works. You go to guess the move right and uh, you are not going to see the moves here right what's going to be yes it's going to look like this it's going to look like an octopus computer is going to play a move and you have to play look i'm going to play for you the moves and and then uh, you can test yourself on your own right okay did i forget the move here immediately what should I do? And now queen a5 and queen d5. And this is how you can test your memory. Is it cool, right? You can. Um, there is one website, chessgames.com, and they have this guest the move. So I, I really enjoyed it. Like many years ago, I, I would play this and, and have fun. Um, but um, on Elite Chess, we can do this and so it's it's really nice, you know. You can you can practice it. Ninety seven, I think, right? Bishop e four. You know, I'm old. I cannot remember anymore. <laughs> <clears throat> Queen c four. And now, of course, this rook d seven is 
Um, and don't try just to remember the moves. Try also to remember the ideas, right? Right, because uh, the attack on d7 was important. And now queen a2. And here, I'm sure you're going to remember, like, uh, you're going to remember this move, rook b8. That's the most important one you should remember. And, of course, this bishop a3, counterattack, right? And this is, look, you play like this, memorize, uh, try to memorize the games, test your memory, and uh, and then, uh, then you'll see, you're going to get a lot of great ideas. You're going to start... Uh, playing uh, those openings with no problem because if you can remember a game like this then of course when you are in a tournament game you're going to just remember the moves right you're not going to be forgetting them right so this is how you you can study the openings like we study the theory first you see like the ideas the moves that can happen and then you see important games um, you study the game and then you test yourself with this guess the move it's, it's a very good way to study the openings, right, and study the ideas. That's it. Now do it on your own. <laughs> Guess the move on your own, right? See you. Bye-bye.